It's just a very short drive to tonight's game. We're heading to Longmeadow, the home of Whitchurch United, who are taking on Cove in the second round of fixtures in the Wessex League Division 1. We are heading to a Step 6 clash, so this is the real depths of non-league football. Whitchurch lost 4-2 at Romsey, whilst Cove won their opening game 2-0 against Totten and Ealing. I think I said that right on the opening day of the Wessex League Division 1 season. Previous encounters include a 4-4 draw in August 2021. That looked very tasty indeed. And I have released channel memberships from just 99p per month. I'm no salesman, but you get badges and channel related emojis, which is all jolly good. Any money made effectively does go back into the channel, but whether you buy a membership or not, your support is greatly appreciated. You guys are awesome. We're now not far off 600 subscribers, so if you are new to the channel and you want to come watching non league content, then hit that subscribe button for more non league content throughout the season. We are now at Longmeadow, so let's check out where each team's finished last season. So I'm just trying to see where Whitchurch finished last season in the Wessex League Division 1. They finished in 16th position, so not far for relegation, but there's no Cove, so can't do our predictions just yet for tonight's game, but I'll have a look and let you know in a second where Cove were last season. Right, so on Wikipedia, it turns out that Cove actually got transferred to this division from the Combined Counties League Division 1. They finished 16th as well, so um, both teams tonight finished 16th last season in their respective divisions, so... Yeah, let's uh, think of our predictions in just a moment. So let's now do our predictions for tonight's game. I'm going to say 2-1 Whitchurch United. So Jam boys to get off the mark hopefully tonight. Come on Gemma, what's your prediction for tonight's game? I'll go Whitchurch 1-0. So we're both predicting that Whitchurch will take the, the victory tonight. Like I said, both teams finished 16th in their respective leagues last season. So both pretty level. I don't know what teams might have strengthened. I don't know which teams might have weakened in parts. So... I don't know. I'm not going to lie. This is a video where I do not know where what team's going to um, finish in the league this season. But I'm just going to say 2-1 Whitchurch United for the sake of it. So yeah, the non-league season is well and truly back. So support as many non-league sides you can this season. It's important because non-league, unlike the Premier League, the Football League, whatever, you get to meet the players, the managers, the chairmen, mix of other fans. It's fantastic. So, um, so yeah, support as many non-league clubs as you can. Go ground hopping, but also support your local if you can. I urge you, you won't regret it. If you are new to this channel and you've never watched non-league football before, it is absolutely fantastic. You don't want to miss a second of it because it's growing. It really is, isn't it, Gemma? Non-league is special. Support your non-league club. Support a non-league club or ground hop. Do whatever you want, but yeah, do it. Help me. Jemison training of the new camera. Good to see, isn't it? Oh, oh. 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 I see a goal. Wait! Not with that cross. Oh. Got to be the first man. Oh, 
Worth a try, wasn't it? Worth a try. Oh, So half time it's 1-1 here at Long Meadow. I'd say both teams had some glorious chances in that first half to make it 2-1 to either side. Of course, late on in that first half, which had a great opportunity, uh, hit the crossbar, a um, bit of a tap in, but didn't, but wasn't awarded for some reason. But yeah, the first goal was quite early on from a corner for Whitchurch and the second goal was a penalty for Cove. I think we missed the foul um, leading up to that penalty. But yeah, an entertaining first half, I'd say. And a very interesting game. Jim, what do you make of that? Uh, both teams had their chances, but by the looks of it, I think Whitchurch will come out second half and get that win, hopefully. Yeah, I think our prediction's on for 2-1. I think Cove have been a great outfit, to be fair. Whitchurch have been passing the ball quite well. Cove have been quite quick at times. So I think it's a very entertaining season opener for both sides. But yeah, we'll see how second half goes, and hopefully it's still just as entertaining. Vlogging at football should be easy, shouldn't it? I mean, I have upgraded after all. But look at the bloody size of this now, the Tamron... 2.8 aperture lens i mean look how fat it is and big but there we go the joys of vlogging this is a mega setup now but we'll see how this goes in the second half but look at it we're meant to be enjoying ourselves at half time but look at this jim is just messing around on her phone on facebook what a bloody surprise and Keeping it looks like my socials yeah it looks like it's time for the second half now so um yeah finally let's get on with the second half well free kick here They've just committed a foul with Whitchurch and uh, the opportunity to put Cove 2-1 ahead here in the second half. Oh, it goes wide so it still remains 1-1. Oh, 2-1 now. Cove have taken the lead for the first time in this game. Whitchurch will be bitterly disappointed by that after taking that lead in the first half but now it's 2-1 to Coves. The attendance here is quite good to be fair for step six. I mean... I can't really exactly tell you how many, but I'm taking a guess. There's probably about 50 to 70 people here. I've seen less at Step 4 teams, so this isn't bad for Whitchurch, to be fair to them. Oh! Is that a foul? Maybe not. I think it's an advantage being played there. Oh, that's got to be a foul. I think it's going to be a foul. A free kick to Cove. Here we have a unique species. One that we've never seen before. That's not nice at all, is it? Oh, that's offside, I think, but he finishes it anyway. But it's not going to count. I'd say Cove have been the much better side so far the second half, which actually got a lot of work to do if they want to get a point here tonight. But they're on the ball now. And, oh, he's got to it, number nine. Oh, it's a good block by Cove there. And they keep Whitchurch at bay again. But here we go, Cove on the counter-attack, number four. He's going for it. He's got a long ball there. Straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what a strike that was. It's 3-1 to Cove now. Surely that is three goals and three points to the visitors. What a strike. Oh, that's definitely it now. 4-1 to Cove. What a heartbreaking second half this has been for the, for the hosts. But well deserved for Cove, it has to be said. <laughs> oh, it goes from bad to worse. 5 1. Well, that's a consolation now. 5 2. 
It is now officially a seven goal thriller. Well, I say thriller, but the game's well and truly dusted now. So it's finished 5-2 to the Visitors Cove. A well-deserved victory for Cove. I think they'll be a top side this season in this division. Maybe a team to go up and win the league. Who knows? Terrible second half from the hosts, the uh, Whitchurch United tonight. Absolutely awful second half. But it was great to come here. I mean, Jen, what were your thoughts on that game? Yeah, no, definitely the right team won it, I think, there. But Cove's goalkeeper in the second half didn't have to make a save until they, they scored that goal. Uh, Whitchurch to make it... 5-2 but definitely the right side won it there I think tonight yeah definitely well anyway if you've enjoyed this video leave a like it is greatly appreciated and subscribe for more non-league content we are back on Saturday as Bratton will take on Didcot Town in our first league home game so we look forward to going to going to that one sorry no league table or results from tonight's game because it's only day one of this of this league season so um, yeah until then we'll see you guys very very soon mm -hmm.